empirical formula and molecular formula. In this lecture, I will teach you four types of numerical problems which will cover this topic completely. Also, you will learn the basic concept of empirical formula and molecular formula. So watch this lecture till the end and you will learn something awesome. Now what is empirical formula and what is molecular formula? Well, empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound while molecular formula is the actual formula of a compound. For example, we know that the formula of a glucose is C6H12O6. This is the actual formula of a glucose. Hence, it is the molecular formula of a glucose. Now, let I write here the formula of a glucose. We can see that the subscript of carbon is 6, that of hydrogen is 12, and that of oxygen is 6. We know that we can divide these subscripts by 6, like 6 by 6, 12 by 6, and 6 by 6. I get CH2O. Now listen carefully. I have simplified the molecular formula of a glucose from C6H12O6 to CH2O. This CH2O is the simplest formula of a glucose. Hence, it is the empirical formula of a glucose. Thus, we learn that molecular formula is the actual formula of a compound like C6H12O6 while empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound like CH2O. Remember that molecular formula is equal to n times of empirical formula. For example, the molecular formula of a glucose is C6H12O6 while its empirical formula is CH2O. Here, the value of n is 6. I mean, if we multiply the subscripts of empirical formula by 6, we will get molecular formula. Therefore, we say that molecular formula is equal to n times of empirical formula. Now let me teach you type 1 form numericals which we call mass composition. Consider this problem. A compound contains 50.05 gram sulfur and 49.95 gram oxygen. Find the empirical formula of this compound. Well, in such type of numerical problems, we are given masses of the different atoms like 50.05 gram of sulfur and 49.95 gram of oxygen and we are asked to find the empirical formula of a compound. I solve such type of numerical problems with the help of three steps. In the first step, I write the given atoms which are sulfur and oxygen. Secondly, I write their respective gram atomic masses. For example, the gram atomic mass of sulfur is 32 gram and that of oxygen is 16 gram. In the second step, I calculate the number of moles of given masses. For example, the given mass of sulfur is 50.05 gram and the given mass of oxygen is 49.95 gram. Now to find the number of moles, I divide the given mass by their respective atomic masses. The gram atomic mass of sulfur is 32 gram. I divide the given mass by 32. The gram atomic mass of oxygen is 16 gram. I divide the given mass by 16. After calculation, I get 1.56 moles of sulfur and 3.12 moles of oxygen. In the third step, I find the simplest ratio between atoms. To do so, I rewrite the number of moles of each atom. Now I select the smallest number. We can see that 1.56 is the smallest number. I select this number. I divide 1.56 by 1.56 and 3.12 by 1.56. After calculation, I get 1 and 2. It means that the ratio of sulfur is 1 and that of oxygen is 2 and the compound. Thus I write S1O2. This is the empirical formula of this compound. Therefore, using these three steps, we can easily calculate the empirical formula of any compound. Now let me teach you the second type of numerical problems 
which we call percentage composition. Consider this numerical problem. A compound contains 64.8% carbon, 13.62% hydrogen and 21.58% oxygen by weight. Find the empirical formula of this compound. Well, in this type of numerical problems, percentage of different atoms are given. But we consider them as masses of atoms and grams. I mean, instead of percentage, I consider them in grams, like 64.8 gram of carbon, 13.62 gram of hydrogen, and 21.58 gram of oxygen. So this numerical has become like first type of numerical problem. Hence, I will solve it using the previous three steps which we already learned. In the first step, I write the given atoms like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Secondly, I write their respective atomic masses. The atomic mass of carbon is 12 gram, that of hydrogen is 1 gram and that of oxygen is 16 gram. In the second step, I find the number of moles of given masses. The given mass of carbon is 64.8 gram, the given mass of hydrogen is 13.62 gram and the given mass of oxygen is 21.58 gram. I divide these given masses by respective atomic masses like 12 gram of carbon, 1 gram of hydrogen and 16 gram of oxygen. After calculation, I get 5.4 moles of carbon, 13.62 moles of hydrogen and 1.35 moles of oxygen. In the third step, I find the simplest ratio between atoms. I rewrite the number of moles. Now the smallest number is 1.35. I select it and divide all these numbers by 8. 5.4 by 1.35, 13.62 by 1.35 and 1.35 by 1.35. After calculation, I get 4, 10 and 1. It shows that the ratio of carbon is 4, that of hydrogen is 10 and that of chlorine is 1. Hence the empirical formula of the compound is C4H10O1. Therefore, using these three steps, we can easily find the empirical formula of any compound. Now let me teach you type 3 forms of numerical problems which we call calculating molecular formula from empirical formula. For example, consider this problem. Calculate the molecular formula of a compound with the empirical formula BH3 and its molar mass is 27.7 gram. Well, in such type of numerical problems, empirical formula is given like BH3. Secondly, molar mass of the empirical formula is given like 27.7 gram. I solve such type of numerical problems using two steps. In the first step, I find the molar mass of empirical formula. We know that the given empirical formula is BH3. I find its molar mass. I write B plus 3H. The gram atomic mass of boron is 10.81 gram and that of hydrogen is 1 gram. After addition, I get 13.81 gram. So the empirical mass of BH3 is 13.81 gram. In the second step, I find the value of N. To find its value, I divide given mass of empirical formula by molar mass of empirical formula. The given mass is 27.7 gram and the empirical formula mass is 13.81 gram. After division, I get N is equal to 2. We already learned that molecular formula is equal to N times empirical formula. Also we know that the value of N is 2. The empirical formula is already given which is BH3. I multiply the subscript of empirical formula by 2. I get B2H6. Hence the molecular formula of this compound is B2H6. Hence note it down. Lastly, let me teach you the four type of numerical problems which we call calculating empirical formula and molecular formula. For example, 
consider this problem. A compound contains 24.27% carbon, 4.07% hydrogen and 71.65% chlorine. Its molar mass is 98.96 gram. Find its empirical formula and molecular formula. In such type of numerical problems, firstly, I find the empirical formula and then I find the molecular formula. To find the empirical formula, I will follow the three steps. In the first step, I write the given atoms like carbon, hydrogen and chlorine. Secondly, I write their respective atomic masses like 12 gram and 35.5 gram. In the second step, I find the number of moles. I write 24.27 gram of carbon, 4.07 gram of hydrogen and 71.65 gram of chlorine. I divide these given masses by respective atomic masses like 12 gram, 1 gram and 35.5 gram. After calculation, I get 2.02 moles of carbon, 4.07 moles of hydrogen and 2.01 moles of chlorine. In the third step, I find the simplest ratio. I rewrite these number of moles. The smallest number is 2.01. I divide all these numbers by 2.01. After calculation, I get 1 to 1. Hence, the ratio of carbon is 1, hydrogen is 2 and chlorine is 1. Thus, the empirical formula of the compound is CH2Cl. Now, what about its molecular formula? Well, to calculate it, we have to follow two steps. In the first step, I will calculate molar mass of empirical formula. We know that the empirical formula is CH2Cl. I write carbon plus two hydrogen atoms plus chlorine. The atomic mass of carbon is 12 gram, that of hydrogen is one gram, and that of chlorine is 35.5 gram. After addition, I get 49.5 gram. In the second step, I find the value of N. We know that N is equal to given mass of empirical formula by molar mass of empirical formula. The given mass of empirical formula is 98.96 gram upon the molar mass of empirical formula is 49.5 gram. After calculation, I get N is equal to 2. We already know that molecular formula is equal to N times empirical formula. The value of N is equal to 2 and the empirical formula is CH2Cl. After multiplication, I get C2H4Cl2. Hence, the molecular formula of this compound is C2H4Cl2. Therefore, using this strategy, we can easily find the empirical formula and molecular formula of any compound. I hope you have learned all about calculating empirical formula and molecular formula.